After I defeated The Miz, my WWE career really started to take off. I won the Money in the Bank briefcase and then cashed it in to beat The Big Show for my first World Heavyweight Championship. Can you believe it? Daniel Bryan is the new World Heavyweight Champion! But for every step forward, it seemed like I took two steps back. One was pretty big. When at WrestleMania in 2012, I lost the world title in just 18 seconds. Oh man! A broke kick by Sheamus! Oh my god! Sheamus is the world champion! That may be one of the fastest title changes in the history of WrestleMania! After that, I was angry and wanted to blame a lot of people for my failure. But it actually led to one of the most enjoyable times of my career. Daniel Bryan's forced to go to anger management with that man. <gasps> no! I formed an unlikely partnership with Kane. Shut your mouth right now! The devil's favorite demon is nothing without the world's toughest vegan! No! 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 Kane is one of my favorite people. We almost have the same sense of humor. Daniel Bryan and Kane hugging out tonight. This is the most awkward and weird thing I've ever seen. There we go, yes, yes. they yes. hugged it out. Anger management, I believe, has been a success. We just had a lot of fun. We watch each other's back, team hell no style. We had our first shot at the Tag Team Championships when we faced Kofi Kingston and R-Truth at Night of Champions in 2012. We're in Boston in a building where many great champions have been crowned and right now the Tag Team titles are on the line. The champions Kofi Kingston and our truth against the unlikely team of Daniel Bryan and Kane. Uh, talk about an odd couple, Michael. With everything we've seen from Bryan and Kane in the past few weeks, I gotta wonder if Dr. Shelby's anger management therapy can turn these two into a cohesive unit. What do you know about therapist Saxton? They've been thrusted into this position while the champions have been centered around their teamwork for the past five months. Kane and Bryan only have anger management in common. I wouldn't call that a building block towards tag team titles. Oh, nasty impact. Kane and Daniel Bryan are seeming to get along thus far, Corey. Yeah, they're getting along for one reason. To get rid of that quack Dr. Shelby. Even I would try to get along with you, Cole, if it meant not listening to Dr. Shelby. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Ever since Kofi and R-Truth became allies, they've been on a tear in WWE. They know how to work together as a tag team. Then on the other side of the ring, judging from the last few weeks, Kane and Daniel Bryan are far from being on the same page. Same page? Daniel and Kane aren't even reading the same book. Whereas Kofi and Truth are finishing each other's sentences. We talk about being on the same page, and Truth and Kofi certainly are. But wouldn't you think Kane and Daniel Bryan shared experience in anger management can create a chemistry of sorts? Kofi and Truth have held those titles for five months. You'd be ridiculous to think that trust falls and yelling at kids wearing goat masks for a couple of weeks is going to get you the same kind of chemistry the tag team champions have. Close line! Well, I don't leave a mark. Well, if you're a believer in anger management therapy, then Dr. Shelby has done a great job with Kane and Daniel Bryan. Well, what if I'm not a believer in anger management therapy? Mind you, therapy from some quack doctor that I'm pretty sure was certified on the internet, if at all. Well, Corey, they are out here trying to work together right now. This is at least some testament to how much of an impact anger management has helped. Can we address our truth and little Jimmy, please? If anyone needs Dr. Shelby, it's our truth The guy's seeing things. He's holding ropes to let an imaginary person into the ring. Forget Daniel Bryan and Kane. Someone please help our truth I think our truth is doing just fine. This week, WWE.com had a pictorial about Little Jimmy's family. Portraits like Little Jimmy and a birthday party hat. Pretty fabulous. Cole, I was reaching out to get our truth help for his imaginary delusion, but you're here enabling self-destructive behavior. 
We know what having imaginary friends well into adulthood can do to a person. We've seen what it's done to Saxton. Well, uh, I would have to refute that, okay? I'm a well-adjusted adult gentleman with many real-world friends, too. <laughs> Thank you very much. And leading up to this match, a lot of praise was thrown on Kofi on the R-Truth. Kofi being a three-time Intercontinental Champion, and he goes for the cover. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Bringing up Daniel Bryan's time as World Heavyweight Champion. He did lose that title in only 18 seconds to Sheamus at WrestleMania. Why? Why do you have to go and bring that up, Saxton? You know Daniel's in a fragile state right now, and you bring up a moment where he's caught off guard and hit by a now outlawed road kick. Not good for the back and body. He can crank it up whenever the mood strikes him. Beautiful technique. And there's his speed paying off. Nailed it. Kane's enjoying himself now. Close line. Oh, that'll leave a mark. On, he dodges out of the way. Looking to hurt him. Ooh. So, Michael, let me ask you, did Daniel Bryan's anger management issues begin way back in April at WrestleMania, when Bryan, who was World Heavyweight Champion at the time, lost his title to Sheamus in a record 18 seconds? It's been haunting Daniel Bryan for months. Yes, it did. Listen, Daniel Bryan confessed that WrestleMania was... Look at Kobe. Oh, what impact! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Harsh impact. This might be it, guys. This is Kofi Kingston's match now. Serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Irish whip! Took him out at the knee! Nobody controls the pace of the match quite like this guy. You know, I have to say, I have seen some progress in Kane and Daniel Bryan's anger management. I don't think they are all the way there, but there's been definite progress. I see it too, Michael. We don't see Daniel screaming in the face of fans anymore. He's keeping his composure pretty well. And Kane, well, Kane is still Kane. There is some deep-rooted trouble within that monster. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. In comparing Daniel Bryan and Kane's progress in therapy, I think there are two different cases. Bryan had an emotional breakdown brought on by the WWE Universe, whereas Kane has just been sick and demented since birth. Well, one of those things for sure, they're both off the rocker in my estimation. Great job, Dr. Cole. Kane gets tagged in. I need to say, guys, if Daniel Bryan and Kane can work together and win here tonight, Dr. Shelby deserves a Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, well, I hate that. Oh, no, no. Kane with a vice-like grip on his opponent's skull. Here's his moment, Michael. That could procure the win for Kane. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Oh, he turns it around. Is he done? He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. Guys, when the WWE Universe has the power on Monday Night Raw, they can be really nutty. Case in point, a few weeks ago, the WWE Universe voted on social media to have Daniel Bryan and Kane hug it out. Kane is looking at this right now. 
Is he done? Whoa, he lets him out. What a fool. He had him dead to rights. Daniel Bryan has so much on his mind right now. He was ballistic in a WWE.com interview. The problem is Daniel Bryan, he's a great competitor, but this crowd constantly distracts him. How can anybody do their work when this is going on? Well, he's not going to go quietly. No superstar world to assault ever does. We touched on how much is going through Daniel Bryan's head right now. Again, this all started when Daniel Bryan thought the fans were embracing him. And then when he realized they were actually humiliating him by repeating his yes chant, Daniel Bryan just snapped. Well, that's one of the reasons he seemingly has gone off the deep end as of late. And as a result, the Raw general manager forced Daniel Bryan to attend anger management therapy. Daniel Bryan sending Kingston across the ring. And Daniel Bryan looking to put Cody Kingston away for the tag team titles. Ooh. Kingston's in trouble. The Kane are in oh, peril. Wait. The big red machine making the law climb to the top of the I think Bryan would have came to the tag. No, not at all. He felt like he was in control. And now Kane is heading up top. It's just a matter of time until this team implodes. We know they can't stand each other. Cody Kingston. Look at Bryan. Bryan is hanging. Hell No had a great run, but like most tag teams, Kane and I eventually went our separate ways and I returned to pursuing my goal of winning singles titles. I need to win the WWE Championship. It was around this time I had a series of matches with Randy Orton that would have a much greater effect on my career than I could ever imagine. I put a lot of pressure on myself during this because Randy was really the first real top, top guy that I had a rivalry with. If I could do well with Randy, that puts you even to another level. I felt I had a lot to prove, which led to some very hard-hitting and physical contests. I got pretty banged up, but I was determined to fight through it and not let it slow me down. So much so, that I went on to face Randy Orton in a street fight rematch on Raw. A sold out Raw here in Charleston, South Carolina. Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton started the night with a double disqualification, but they will settle things in the main event with a street fight. Randy Orton called Daniel Bryan a weak link. 
Kane called Daniel Bryan a weak link. Bryan is here to prove that he is not a weak link. All order as he faces nine-time WWE Champion Randy Orton. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. A street fight is apropos for Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton, seeing as both men will take part in a Money Bank ladder match in three weeks' time. All the weapons we'll see Bryan and Orton sling tonight is just a prelude to the unforgiving steel ladders that play in a Money in the Bank match. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. You two brought up the upcoming Money in the Bank match. Don't forget that Kane's in that match, too. I wonder if Bryan's going to be able to stay sane with so many agitating factors in play in that match. I think Daniel Bryan will thrive, actually. He's won Money in the Bank more recently than Kane, and Randy Orton still hasn't won Money in the Bank after multiple attempts. you got to believe this one's over. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's going to hurt. I'm not surprised that Randy Orton couldn't make it as a tag team partner for Daniel Bryan. He hasn't had the best track record with allies this year. That's true, Byron. Orton put his neck out for the Big Show to help him and Sheamus take on the Shield at WrestleMania. That match ended with Big Show punching out both his partners. Oof! Incredible impact! You gentlemen mentioned Orton's bad luck with tag partners. After Big Show's betrayal, Sheamus and Orton couldn't get along. It's a minor miracle that Orton helped Team Hell No beat the Shield. Needless to say, I don't think we'll be seeing Orton teaming up with anyone in that locker room for quite some time after tonight. This rivalry between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton has been simmering for weeks and looks to violently explode during this street fight. Now, Bryan has been determined to show he can beat Orton. He's looking at it. That'll rock him. He's back in control here. Randy Orton got the worst end of that stick. We recounted Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton's matches as of late. We thought it would be settled in tonight's opening match, but they brawled to a double disqualification. Well, you won't see a count-out DQ or an injury in this match. One of these guys is going to be pinned or submitted at the conclusion of this street fight. Look at that tremendous ring presence. Very impressive. Shoulders on the back. Oh boy, he is. He thinks he has it. Two. Daniel Bryan has a major task ahead of him tonight. He's got to beat a man with just about every accolade on his resume in the form of Randy Orton. Yeah, Corey, you're not kidding. Orton has held the Intercontinental Champion. Uh-oh. Hung out to dry. Good night. But can he follow up here? That'll likely do it, Michael. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Counter here. Arnie dodges out of the way. Back in the ring again. Randy Orton, no problem in getting out of that one. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Guys 
dodges a bullet there. And he's heading back in. Clothesline! Got it! Mikey, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Oh boy, he is rolling. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. Forcefully delivered. Orton's hit Brian with everything in his arsenal. I wouldn't be surprised if he pulled out an ugly stick and beat Brian with that. But well, regardless of how he looks, the match itself is looking very ugly for Daniel Bryan. Incredible! There's a lot of force behind that one. Success breeds success, and he's definitely having some right now. Oh my god! DDT! Spiked him! But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. This might be it! Oh, my! I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Here he goes. What a cover! That might have done it, Cole. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. What's coming next? There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self-doubt, and continue on toward victory. I'll tell you what, this is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker's School, that's for sure. Melee! Pandemonium! The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean, they have to be on fumes right now. Quick thinking to avoid that one. Incredible! There's a lot of force behind that one.
There's no denying that the rigors of this Extreme Rules match are starting to take their toll on these superstars. Ooh, what impact. Nailed it. He's too quick for him there. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. superstars are doing it right now. They've got to be exhausted. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Shoot slam. Oh boy, he is rolling. What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. What a match this has been, guys, and it's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Showing off some of his speed that he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. But this guy's a great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. Devastating elbow. Kicking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Boy, these superstars have been through it all here in this Extreme Rules match. Give these superstars a ton of credit. I don't know too many competitors who can withstand the amount of punishment that they have. What a slam! Impactful. The jar your spine. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Momentum is fully in the corner of Randy Orton now. Back between the ropes. Too quick for him there. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. Oh, no. With That just happened? What a comeback. Bringing it back into the ring. Here we go. Back inside the ring. And a pin attack. One, two, three. Randy Orton with an emphatic win. The Viper victorious. Extreme Rules is 
but not least, here is your winner, he is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. Orton wins here, cementing his place atop WWE. And Daniel Bryan still cannot break through. We talk about displaying a never say die attitude, it was as if winning was the only option here tonight. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much. A sold out raw here in Charleston, South Carolina. Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton started the night with a double disqualification, but they will settle things in the main event with a street fight. Randy Orton called Daniel Bryan a weak link. Kane called Daniel Bryan a weak link. Bryan is here to prove that he is not a weak link. Tall order as he faces nine time WWE champion Randy Orton. Ooh, what impact. Kick! I didn't think technical wrestling wizard Daniel Bryan could hold his own in a street fight, but he's doing pretty well so far. We're really starting to see the versatility in Bryan's repertoire here. Yeah, but a versatile repertoire means nothing if Orton can pull off an RKO out of nowhere. right off the apron. We're seeing two favorites of the WWE Universe battle it out here, and it's fitting that the WWE Universe voted for this to be a street fight. The hashtags have been trending all night on social media, but the people picked a street fight over a Falls Count Anywhere and a Lumberjack match. I normally disagree with the people, but I made a good call here tonight. Shoving them away. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Beautiful technique. We saw Team Hell No dissolve last week on Raw as both Kane and Daniel Bryan turned their sights towards the WWE Championship. Step one in that process is beating Randy Orton. Defeating a guy of Orton's stature puts you near the front of the line for title opportunities. Going back to Kane and Daniel Bryan's breakup, it seemed cordial, but their paths could easily cross again if one of them attains the WWE Championship. Yeah, that reminds me, Michael. Team Hell No didn't officially hug it out when they broke up. Things could be bad between Kane and Bryan. Daniel Bryan has a major task ahead of him tonight. He's got to beat a man with just about every accolade on his resume in the form of Randy Orton. Yeah, or you're not kidding. Orton has held the Intercontinental Championship, the Tag Team Championship, he's won the Royal Rumble, and has been WWE Champion nine times. We compared Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan's accolades before, and Daniel Bryan has a decent resume, too, as he's won Money in the Bank and has held the U.S. title, tag team titles, and the world title one time each. That's just it, Cole. Bryan's had a taste of success. Orton's been feasting on it forever. Big elbow. 
Boy, Randy Orton never stops. Shame that Orton and Bryan are fighting tonight and that they will also be brawling with Kane in the Money in the Bank match since those three men are the only trio to pin or submit the Shield in a six-man tag team match. It's even more impressive when you consider the trios that fell to the Shield at WrestleMania. Orton, Sheamus, and the Big Show failed. On the Raw two weeks after WrestleMania, Team Hell No and The Undertaker couldn't do it. Last week, Team Hell No and Orton finally beat the Shield and in three weeks, they'll be fighting each other for money in the bank. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. He's making a statement here with this attack. We saw Team Hell No dissolve last week on Raw as both Kane and Daniel Bryan turned their sights towards the WWE Championship. Step one in that process is beating Randy Orton. Defeating a guy of Orton's stature puts you near the front of the line for title opportunities. There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately only one of them can be victorious here tonight. Going back to Kane and Daniel Bryan's breakup, it seemed cordial, but their paths could easily cross again if one of them attains the WWE Championship. Yeah, that reminds me, Michael. Team Hell No didn't officially hug it. Uh-oh. Hung out to dry. Vintage Randy Orton! Wow, what a gritty performance. Orton better not waste this opportunity. He's got him down. Is this it? And only a one count. Nah, not yet. Too early. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. With precision. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Watch out. This is where anything can happen. Tell me about it. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. There it is. Did you hear that? Right? There it is. Did you hear that? Right? Looking at it here, oh, right to the face. This one is over. One, two, real close, too close for cover. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. This couldn't do it! And he doesn't stay down for long. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He might have it. Look at this. This might be it! Oh my! To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Bodies are not supposed to bend that way. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh boy, he is rolling! Showing some quickness there. Oh! Flying forearm! On the mark! Did you hear that crack? Randy Orton, no problem in getting out of that one. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Oh, oh seems to take all the wind out of you. Uh-oh. Hung out to dry. Oh! That has got to be it. So 
such incredible impact. His shoulders are down. One! A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. No, oh, that'll mess up the neck. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh boy, he is rolling. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. What a match this has been, guys, and it's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. The Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Looks like both these superstars have found that little counter here. Just a step quicker, it looks like. There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self doubt, and continue on toward victory. And now one more. Cutter! Just when you thought he had nothing left. There's a pin now. One. Two. Whoa. Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. Wow, I am impressed. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh. Wicked clothesline. Big time takedown right there. This might He's got him covered. Yeah, I don't believe that, that, that he didn't win this match right there. How'd he do that? That's how you wear down your opponent. So much damage to the neck. He's looking at it. When this guy's on, look out. Is he done? And he finds a way free. Wow. That was just pure determination, Cole. This could be it. Combination kicks. Game, set, match. This one is over. Okay, this time has to do it. Oh, the yes lock is cinched in. It's in. Locks in. What's Randy Orton going to do? Will the Viper tap out? Orton's in serious trouble. Trying to drag himself to the ropes, but remember the ropes aren't going to cause a oh, break here. Guys, guys. Because in the street fight, and Orton's going to kick their stick. Whoa! Repeated strikes with a kendo stick. Orton wearing the weapon out on Daniel Bryan. Just, just what the Johnny WWE's Apex Predator needs is a weapon. All uh, perfectly legal. And you will find absolutely oh my God, no remorse whatsoever from Randy Orton. All the frustration inside the Viper bubbling over. Orton's like a man possessed. This won't end well. And he's got Brian on the second row. Randy Orton could be closing in on a victory. Oh, vintage Orton with a DDT. I think that's the beginning.
beginning of the end, gentlemen. Randy Orton seems to be preparing to go to that place. Randy Orton is focused. Randy Orton could be closing in on victory. Look at Randy Orton. No, backslide by Brian. Shoulders are down. Oh, Orton kicks out. Now on a kick by Daniel Bryan. Now Kendo sticking hand. Oh, and Bryan. Bryan unloading on Orton. Bryan returning the favor. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. Oh, you cannot take your eyes off him for a second. Really, he's got the shoulders down. Not today. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Toss to the outside. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Success breeds success, and he's definitely having some right now. Oof. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. This is Randy Orton's chance. Back in from the floor. Randy Orton looking at this. And now one more way back. That's what he was looking for, Michael. This could do it! Oh, two! And he got a near fall out of it. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Flash strike. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. You gotta believe this one's over. The Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Incredible. Daniel Bryan using the kendo oh, stick for leverage. And Orton taps out. Randy Orton taps out. What a win for Daniel Bryan. Career-defining win for Daniel Bryan. Bryan. Daniel Bryan with one of the biggest victories of his career. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a physically grueling battle between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton, and boy, did Bryan earn this. Got to give it up to him. Got to give it up to Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan's going to be feeling the effects of this one for some time. Oh, hold, hold on. Orton offering a sign of respect. That's what you love to see. Two great superstars, two great warriors displaying their mutual respect for each other.